Dang. Hello. All right. So we managed to get the front a little cleared out, and I'll show you that after. And I've decided to move on to my backyard and try to get a little bit of that done. So I have a little path here. You're probably not going to be see be able to see it this well because it's everything's white. I'm currently standing in my neighbor's yard. They're the only ones. This is what I'm talking about when I say the snowdrifts were crazy. This is literally. I haven't messed with this at all. This is what it's like. You can still see the grass on this side, and yet next to my house is five feet high. So. We'll walk through this little path that I started. I don't need it to be perfect right now, because right now I'm more concerned with being able to get the back door open for emergencies. So, this is the start of the steps. I'm working on this right now. This is what it is like in front of the door. Now, let me remind you that I did this at 1 a.m., and it built up again like this overnight. And my mom actually used to little scrapey thing and tried to dig it just so that she could get the door open enough to pass a couple things through. The coolers are completely encased and we're going to have to get those out because we've got milk and orange juice and things we want to have for dinner in there. Um, I don't know if any of you really remember the layout of my yard. You might want to look back on the first video. You can kind of see everything better. This right here is my grill. Out in here Right in here is where my garden is, my above ground garden. As you can see, let me let me see if I can close up on this. That is my shed. Not getting into that anytime soon. We did not lose power last night. We are hoping that we do not lose it today. The only thing that would cause it now is uh, wind because uh, the snow has stopped. You can actually see there's even a little sunlight out there. It's not melting anything, but you know. So, we do kind of have, it seems to be the back area of the house didn't get it as bad, so we can get to the box that has the generator in it if necessary. I'll just do another little mini path out to it if necessary. So, this is next to the door over here. Our, our air conditioning unit is right there. Our area is pretty well encased over in ice, pretty icicles. I was a little worried about the snow on the roof because, let me come out here a little bit more. I don't have a nice slanted roof like some of the newer homes do. This one is a 78, so it's a flat roof. And I was worried that the weight of it coming down on the house, but it seems as though the, the wind kind of pulled it off and deposited more on the than anything else so this is a little mini path that we had dug yesterday to kind of show you that car's not going anywhere not going anywhere we're not even going to bother to try to move it and as you can see my deck this is next to my house I am I am five foot one and that is taller than me so that berm is quite deep I am Let's see if I can show you I've got my car done. The front end of the house is okay. We got on either side is pretty massive. Now I'm going to have to go through my neighbor's yard to get back out on the street so I can show you. So I'm going to try not to swear if I fall. So Everybody say a prayer for me. Oh, my neighbor's son uh, kind of tromped on that snow so it's pretty well packed in. So I'm back out on the road. This is our road. This is what currently looks like. The gentleman that's shoveling right there, he, uh, he's shoveling out the woman that had an ambulance come to the house yesterday. So, that's the front of the Madre's car. Hers isn't going anywhere, as you can see. We're going to work on that tomorrow. We're not even going to bother with that tonight. I did manage to get my car out. Ta-da! And... We got lucky that a neighbor down the road had a plow attached to his car and was willing to push that snow in. So, managed to get around that car just enough, pulled it out, cleaned it off, got a little space to get in there, not much, but it's enough. 
as you can see. Snow's not too bad over here. Weighed down that tree quite a bit. We didn't have, we don't have a lot of trees around here, so it wasn't too, too bad trying to, trying to get, you know, snow off the tree so they didn't snap or break. But he went ahead and did his yard and then went inside and ignored everybody else. We had a couple of neighbors who came over and helped us out too, so we're, we're okay. We're getting there. And once I get done working on the rest of the yard, we'll, uh, we'll be two exits. We'll be all right. So, power's on. We're doing all right. I can't complain. Situation is not as bad as we hoped for within our yards. I just have to say that I am so glad that I wasn't driving in that. Oh, I lost the glove. Um, I'm really glad that no one was driving in this. And for all of the naysayers who were talking about it was law and blah, blah, blah. As of 4 p.m. today, the driving ban is lifted. There is still a parking ban, but that's so that they can continue to clear all the streets. That's quite logical. And, uh... That's mostly Boston area. It's not so much a parking bin everywhere else, but that is that is uh, it. 24 hours. So don't complain. We didn't. Alrighty. I'll leave you with a pretty little thing of the sunset. Clouds rolling by. You even see a little bit of blue in the sky. Getting rid of all of those dark clouds now. So, I am okay. Mom is okay. Life is good. Life is chilly, snowy. My back hurts, but life is good. Right? See y'all later.